Hello everybody, it's Sean Tagnus, the Big Feared Balloon, back with some more Animal Crossing. I didn't really care about it last time, because look! Look, it's snowing! Oh yeah, we did catch a... I think it was a stick bug last time, and I'm just blanking what else. Uh, yay to horrible memory. But look, it's snowing! Winter is coming. Hey, another good news, I did find the third fossil yesterday. Did off screen, but well, did record it, but yeah, we found it. It's in my inventory right here. We don't have to worry about it until we do the fossil hunting. But let's check what mail we got. That's from. Oh, this must be the portrait I ordered. Yep. So if Gladys asks for that, we can give it to her. Alright, so since it's snowing, do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? We can finally hunt down the koala camp. Hooray! We'll be able to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to start by just doing the usual stuff, like puzzles, talking to villagers, etc, etc. And we'll see how the day goes. But today is going to be a huge fishing day, so prepare for that. <laughs> mm, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Can't wait for the day we, when we get an eight. <laughs> oh. Well, that's one thing down. The pitfall trap. Hooray. And there's a second foss first fossil. Yeah, how are you doing, Jay? Enjoying the festive weather? Bee monkey, start violence. Shoveling snow is so lame. I'll just do a few squ sets of squats and melt it all away. By the way, hey, what's going on with you today? Give me news. You a uh, big fish chicken or something? Gotta see many fish. I think it's so ripped, even his fins have muscles, eh? Aw. I think that's the fish that caught him, if I remember correctly. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I guess the coconut tree died. Which is disappointing because I don't know when we're getting another coconut or anything. Uh, maybe we should have looked up how to grow coconut trees instead. Well, well, learn trees growing in general because we also had another failure. So it's a bit disappointing. At least these two trees grow it up nicely, but yeah. <laughs> ah, Butch, how are you doing? Oh man, I wish the sky would knock off us all the stupid snowing. I remember those warm summer afternoons, those were the days, bark you. It was great to dig up fossils and weather like that. Don't worry, I'm going to enjoy fossil hunting in the winter. So tell me, what are you doing around here anyway, bark you? Speak to me. So, be monkey. What do you like better, fossils or fruit pie? Fossils, because I don't like, I don't like many fruit combination foods. Tough question, right? Yeah, I like them both, bark you. But triceratops fossils are more majestic than any stupid pie. Someday I'll find one and set that baby up in my room, bark you. I'll see if Blavers will have one when we give them the fossils. Ah, Gladys, how are you doing? Let me ask, Bee Monkey, have you ever looked really closely at a snowflake? They're so delicate and fragile, like human beings, and so hard to hold on to, like certain other human beings. I, I wish I could do that, make anything fragile like that. So, uh, what can I do for you, Stretch? Um, say I hope this doesn't seem too brash or anything, but, um, look, I'm desperate to find a Porsche. You have to help me. Oh, no, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I just needed... I was just hoping someone would listen to me, Stretch. Well, do I have good news for you? We open this up. Ta-da! Here you go. 
Eek, I'm freezing. Motor crashing. Anyway, did you need something to stretch? Love yourself! <laughs> Well, oh hey, this is a Porsche, isn't it, Stretch? You, you got it just for me? Thank you, you are so great. I know it's a little rude, but I can't wait any longer, Stretch. I'm going to try it on right now. Oh, uh, excuse me a second, Stretch. Oh yeah, I guess I ought to give you a reward. A deal's a deal. Here's your toga. Enjoy, Stretch. Hey, thanks for being so nice to me, Stretch. I'm so happy. You're welcome. Let's see what this toga is then. Gotta grab it then. Boop, boop. You know what? It's not something I would usually wear, but that's what for today's episode because we got a nice winter theme going on here. <laughs> it's gonna be Christmas soon anyway. Well, not anywhere near soon, soon, but it's gonna hit December. It's gonna be nice and snowy. <laughs> Oh, I think we got Katrina today. Yeah, that's actually going to be kind of cool. Maybe my luck will increase tomorrow. And maybe I'll get that thing I want for the eight yellow, eight, the, the eight money rock. <laughs> oh, Drake, how are you doing? Hey, Bee Monkey, have you framed that picture of me that I gave you? Oh, I've kept it. Ah ha ha, man, I feel like a celebrity. Do you want my autograph too? Aw. Well, let's give you a proper chat. It's snowing, see, Bee Monkey? Blah, hey. Oh, that's right, you wanted to chat about something, right? Hey, tell me anything. Bee Monkey, is your best friend a big pear cake? Uh, I don't like cake. Really? I guess some people just can't get over their dislikes, huh? Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Just don't like pears. I think the fruits that I do like are apples, maybe bananas. I can tolerate oranges, but I just don't like the pit seeds. Yeah, it's just a bit. I don't think there's many fruits I like, I don't think. I guess I haven't tried too many, but yeah. Ah, oh, there's a second fossil. Oh, that was just too hard. Uh, I think I'm going to have another third fossil situation, which is not what I want today. Hey, what's up, bitch? Diggity dog dog, bee monkey, you're not doing anything big, right? Of course not. That's why you got a sneak peek at this letter. My dearest Butch, your elbows are like macaroni cooked al dente in some celestial kitchen, smooth, just a hint of a bite. Secret admirer. <laughs> Sounds stupid, but I can't even remember when, where or when I got that letter. All I can say is I obviously got it from someone I didn't care about. Well, this I got it from you, but I, uh, you didn't send it to me, right? did you? I guess you've gotten over your... Lost love or something, but no, I did not send that to you. What's up, Gladys? Great timing. I got a little quiz for you to take, Bee Monkey. If you had to guess, how well would long would you take it with freckles? How about you? Wow, Bee Monkey, you got a spot on the money. Nice guess, Stretch. It's true, things haven't been going well for us lately, but it's not like I'm curled up into a huge tiny ball of spite when I see freckles. We're just going on over one of life's speed bumps, like she will be. Frazzle, stretch. But what matters now is you are absolutely right, and you deserve a prize. It's a nifty little trinket, a pink box. What? Oh, you wanted something else? Yeah, I guess that's to Freckles gift in the work. <laughs> Start violence. How's life, Bee Monkey? You ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Go, rock. Man, I can never win rock, paper, scissors here. 
Did I? Didn't I? It's a good game, this game, eh? You don't think frat from Bill, then? Because I think he's the rock, paper, scissors champ right now. Ah, that's the third fossil. Ah, finally. At least it only took about 20 minutes total, so... Yay for that. But, what? Let's get our fortune told. We need some luck, right? <laughs> Kihamuata, Kihamuata, Ihahatatata. I will foresee your futures just for 100 bells. Tell me, well, who are you actually? I am known as Katrina. I travel to far and distant lands, telling prophecies. Using the power of the cards, I can see the paths that others will take, and help those who cannot see all that my eyes can see. That is why I was put here in this land of crossing paths. It is my calling. Iha ta ha ta ta ta. If you need help finding answers, come to me. Is there something Katrina can aid you with? My fortune. I possess many powers, yes. I can tell your future for today, or I can tell you how compatible you are with another. What today's fortune? Let us begin. Ki ha ha moata, ki ha ha moata rata, luta manako batata. Ahem. I am through. The cards are spoken. Is the light symbol in its natural state? Trin raccoons plant the seeds of sunflowers because they water them meticulously. The flowers grow well and true. One day the raccoons will be able to take cover from the rain under them. Yes, very well. We have novelty, cuteness, and power. So what does this pretend? Perhaps it means nothing. But it may mean everything. That is all. Yes, I will require a hundred bells. Much happiness should come your way. Or not. Sometimes it is just not meant to be. Hmm. Yes, this is something I can also get help you with. Oh, I want to learn what compatibilities are. Compatibility. You wish to gauge your compatibility with whom? Hmm. Well, since this well, was one of the villages that we haven't got a picture from, so let's see how we do with Butch. I think the ones we haven't got a picture from are Butch, Pinky, and Bill. Yes, Butch is it? That's right. Very well. Let's begin. How compatible are you and Butch? Kiha mo atata. Kiha ha mo ataratata. Luta manako batata. Yee. Ahem. I am through. The cards are spoken. It's a pen symbol in its averted state. A pelican with a furrowed brow writes something on the ground. She is pleased with something that has just happened. The vent is making her do things she wouldn't normally. Yes, very well. We have dirtiness, laziness, and dishonesty. Benefits, but yeah. So what does this pretend? Perhaps it means nothing, but it may mean everything. That is all. Yes. Hmm. I wonder what that will mean then. I guess I gotta look it up and see what the fortunes mean, but yeah. Thank you very much, Katrina. Oh no, that was angry. Why do you always have to start a fight when we talk, Butch? Oh, I don't start fights. I finish them. I suppose I'd be impressed if I understood a word you were saying, Stretch. Let me explain it for you. See, I am a master of the art of fighting. In my mind, I've already fought this battle a million times. Battle? What battle? I thought we were just talking about <laughs> oh God. cupcakes. 
It is I, Gladys, who likes cupcakes instead of normal cakes. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Well, you're a big duty head. That's it. You play this out a million times and that's your best comeback? Yeah, don't piss off Gladys. Look, it's an easy question. Do you want to come over for cupcakes or not? Tip Butch, the cupcake is probably a lie. Okay. But they better be tasty or next time you might not get off so light. Well, uh, rest in peace, Butch. I'm sorry that your life had to end so shortly. And I'll come see you at your funeral and stuff. Hey, I'm Lavers. I need to get Triceratops pieces, hopefully, so then I can get Butch a funeral. So, by the by, might there be something which I can assist you? Check fossils. Um, yes, who indeed. Hmm, fascinating. Oh, my. This protective sample was a challenge I identified with Sati, but now come to this is a Tricera skull. Indeed it is who. Thank you. Finally, we got a peaceful for Butch, so hip hip hooray for that. Um, hmm, yes, who indeed. Hmm, fascinating. Oh my. So it was a challenge I identified with Sati, but it's a T-Rex tail. Okay, nothing new. Sad. Bird fossil. Um, hmm, yes, who indeed. Hmm, fascinating. Oh my! Chandra had a favorite certainty, but now this is a fern fossil. Well, that's actually a good fossil to get randomly. It'll make some good decor, hopefully. Yep. And the final fourth fossil, or the third fossil of this day. Um, yes, who indeed. Hmm, fascinating. Oh my! This life of was a protector of right ring and a rather nice one, who? Turn to you, who? Oh, that's new, so. Yeah, you can have that. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Who then, if you insist, your donation is well and truly appreciated. Wouldn't it be marvellous that other parts were found before too long? We only need a middle part now. But yeah, thanks for doing that, Blathers. Well, let's make Butch's last day on Earth happy. How are you doing, Butch? I know, it's so sad that you're going to pass away soon. Hey, Bee Monkey, you don't look so bad covered in snow. So anyway, did you want something from me or what, Bark you? I came here to give you a final gift before Gladys kills you. Do you what? Here you go. I don't think Gladys has plans to kill me. I, I knew you well. Whoa, you're giving me a Triceratops skull for me about to die? Seriously? I mean, wow. You're not a bad kid. Anyone ever tell you that, Bark you? Even if it is because you think Gladys is going to kill me. There's no way I can let you leave without some cool loot, Bark you. Here, have 740 bells, Bark you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you one bee monkey, Bark you? Oh, at least got some money from that. Uh, right. Let's see. I want to see how much my inventory is full. Okay, we can put away the water and can for now. We don't need it right now. Oh, yeah. I think these are... Well... I think I know what that is. Yeah, we haven't shown off the citrus fall, so I'll do that quickly. Actually, let's get some stuff on the Tom Nook shop first, then we just do all that in one. How are you doing, Tom Nook? Welcome, welcome. Please, feel free to look around. And the prices were higher than the sell bought price from... I'm blanking on the name, but... Okay, that might be worth it. I think if we're just coming in for a cheap profit, that might be worth it. Oh. We have a satellite we already own. Yeah. Yep. And this is uh, going to be a beige box. So it's basically the pink box from what I remember. Because I was editing one of the videos today. And I thought, oh, that's the pink box has a GameCube in it. Right, I think I'm interested enough to buy those though. Maybe we can't log later, but don't really care too much. Nope. Do we know what that is? Rose wool. I'm unsure what that is. Okay, now I remember, I think. No, thank you. Next up is the round round carpet. That's not bad, actually. And what's this? Yeah, we already know about that. 
I'll just buy this one. Yeah. I feel like it could be used something down the line. But thank you very much, Somnuk. Thanks much. Please do come again. We'll be waiting, hmm? How you two doing? Okay, welcome to welcome to Able Sisters, where you are the fashion designer. What are we got today? Ooh, I didn't forgot. Always forgot the. Did I forget, did I like the right thing? This. A dressing. I mean, a small mummy mask, but yeah, I think that's the only thing I want to buy. Welcome, BFB. Well, it's Wednesday, or hump day as they call it. Whoever they are. No, it's not easy, but let's try both try to get over that hump. Anything else to say? It's always go good to see you, BFB. Thank you. I really want to get a unique conversation, so whenever you drop by, BFB, it makes all my work feel worthwhile. Aww. Well, I hope your work does get worthwhile. I'll see you two around tomorrow. <laughs> Great to see you. Come back soon, okay? Anyway, I did a bit of redecorating earlier. So much to the point that apparently I've reached the max things that can be on this floor. This way, which is weird. But I guess there must be limits in this game. Oh, got a nice seating area for guests. We've got our pinball table set up. And then we have some stuff around here, including our birdcage set up. Let's show off what the random things we got. First off, citrus fall. Also, that does not look bad at all. It would probably sell that, but still, that looks great. Okay, next up, Fern Fossil. And then we also got the pink box as well. Just showing this off, just a reminder, but yeah, that is a Nintendo GameCube. Can I get my anchor on that? Yeah. Got a nice GameCube in there. I don't know if I actually have owned, uh, I actually do own a GameCube. But I didn't, never actually played much of the games on there, funnily enough. I had stuff like Mario Kart Double Dash, and I even think even F Zero, I think, if I remember correctly. But I actually never played most of them just because my mindset was oh, I want to get a GameCube for Pokemon. I've barely played Mario Kart Deluxe, Kart Deluxe Double Dash, and I've never played F Zero GX. I think the other games I can remember were well, something like Spyro, maybe, but. And maybe a crash game as well. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna sell some stuff off screen quickly and then we're gonna go try catch that fish. Also, maybe we should do some more endings like this because it, it, like, the view just looks great. Anyway. Alright, Bill. I think it's time to sell this thing because I'm only hunting for huge fish. I might still see if I can get the tuna thing done. Feeling good, bee monkey. Whoa, wait, hang on. Is it afternoon already? I got so far into the training zone, I lost track of time. Please understand. By the way, understand. What's going on with you today? Tell me anything. Bee monkey, you think I can interest you in a fishing competition? Target is the elusive tuna. You understand, right? I do feel like my daily measurements keep me ripped, so you'll do it, right? Sure, if I find it. Oh man, am I gonna school you, under you understand? Let's get this started, get yourself ready and go. Yeah, I'm not intimidated by you. You won't scare me. Sadly, I don't think I ever saw what happened to the other birdcage, so I guess it's lost to time. I'm sorry, other bird. You were massacred by Bill. His horribleness will end today when I beat him in a fishing tuna competition. While we're at it, might as well ask Jay, because he might ask us something fishing. Don't let the snow get you piled down, hey? By the way, hey, what's going on with you today? Got any fishing competition? Bee Monkey, you think I can interest you in fishing contests? Target is elusive crucian carp. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna score you, hey! Let's get the start. Get yourself ready and go! Oh! Well, let's get fishing then. And what's up, Jake? 
Hey, B Monkey, I want to show you one of my most prized possessions. It's this totally bizarre letter that I found in my mailbox, eh? Hey? Hope you knew. If I had opposite thumbs, I could take over the world. Wahahaha. <laughs> All paws. Wow, you found yourself a villain then. Kind of confusing, but I'm into it. It's like a code I have to crack. Well, go defeat your rival, all pause. And then be the hero that you want to be. And I messed it up. I hope that's not a taste of what's going to happen today. Please, no. Well, the Crucian Kart competition was over very quickly. Let's go find Jay. Jay! I know you haven't wandered too far, hopefully. There you are. Yeah, sorry, your competition ended start type violence. Enough of that, though. You got something to say to me, hey? Got it. Like the first fish I actually caught. What a load of carbs. You're totally too fast for your own good, eh? Well, the race does always go to the beefiest dude, eh? When's I got the win sometimes, too? And for the big champ, the green rug, get pumped, eh? I hate these prizes. Don't mark B Bucky. Next time won't be this easy for you, eh? Yeah. Go back to fossil hunting, I think. <laughs> Have fun with doing that with Butch next time. Okay, that's gonna be Sea Bass if I was caught that easily. Hello, Mr. Sea Bass. Gonna be seeing you a lot today, aren't I? <laughs> Guess Gladys changed into her new clothes then. What's got you in a mood apart from talking to Drake? Oh, hi, Bee Monkey Stretch. By the way, what do you need from me, Stretch? I'm killing time. Hey, Bee Monkey, like my outfit, I think it makes me look pretty, Stretch. Well, it's a shame that she got rid of her poor full shot so quickly, but I don't think she cares too much. She's in her own world. <laughs> Well, there was nothing big. Got fooled by a horse mackerel. Thanks for the claps, Jay. Are you a sea bass or an olive flounder? Lip it, parade, it's an olive flounder. Oh, dear. I'm always getting twitchy now because I always worry about rare fish. I think that might be sea bass, but prove me wrong. Yeah, you did prove me wrong. Thank you, all the flounder. Gonna be cop, I think. Yep, a copy cop, copy cop. I think that might be a sea bass. Well, no harm in trying. Hello, Mr. Sea Bass. How are you today? Yeah, it's always just worrying, like. Could this be the big fish, a four fish, or a huge fish? And it's always a sea bass most of the time. Messed that up, but it was probably a sea bass. Hello, seahorse. How are you today? I think it'll be gone by November, so this will be one last time to catch you until, until whenever we meet again. <laughs> Hi, Steve Bass, how are you? I was all flounder. Sorry for mistaking you for that. A oh, horse mackerel. It pit parade sarcastically. Another cup. Cappy cup. Three. Four. And it's going to be Steve Bass. That was too easy caught. Uh. Gonna be so hard to tell the difference. I hate my past self for saying, oh, there's a skill issue with CBS. I mean, technically it is, but still, I am suffering that skill issue. Yeah, it's not gonna be a pipe knife jaw, but that is a dab. The DAB. And it's telling me to release it. Okay, sell some stuff quickly. CBS or Olive Flounder? CBS. Hello. Hi, no more fish or boot. Wow, they're desperate to make me wrong today, aren't they? <laughs> Hello, sea bass. How are you? Doing good? Good. Tell your family you love them. 
Ah, we hit the 5 p.m. bell, so. Yeah. Well, it's about an hour of recording already done, but. We have only just begun the search, haven't we, Jay? I don't know what you're trying to catch now, but. I hope that catch goes well. Hello, fish. How are you? Got an octopus. Hello, octopus. I need you to find the koala camp or the tuna. Tell me which one, Weaver. Oh, what's up, Gladys? Hello there. How's life, bee monkey? If you're not in a hurry, would you take a look at this stretch? On petit chouchou, your head is like a golden cabbage raised with gem and crusted compost in the gardens of paradise. If they said potato, it would be even more fitting. I thought it was a bit strange, to be totally honest. But that doesn't mean I don't need to dig it though. I just kind of wanted someone else to gawk at it, Bee Monkey. What do you want to talk about, Drake? You know, I'm really into sweet tea right now. And you're going to say I'm sweet tea. Yep. Does that make sense to you? Anyway, I'm feeling toasty just looking at you. Oh, it's good to feel toasty in this cold weather, Drake. <laughs> I'm just gonna hope that was a sea bass. Oh, what those two talk about? And I missed it. Well, but at least I seem to get getting on better. Maybe Butch got her apology gift to avoid being death sentenced. Hello, fish. Dappy dap. D A B. This is a D B A. You will give us all information on the tuna and koala camp. What's up, Butch? <laughs> Diggity dog dog, I got something to ask you, be a monkey. You're not from the countryside, are you? Ooh ha! Really, Bark you? Well, you're probably still getting money from a park or something, so I don't guess you don't need a red grid shirt. No, I don't really. But thanks for that, even if you're not going to give it to me. How are you, fishy fish? You see your best, yes, you are. Yeah, that's a sea bass. I got caught too easily. Uh, when will the koala camp spawn? Also, don't run there because of flowers. But yeah, come on. Come on, we need some big fish. And I guess Drake and Gladys are talking. Are going to miss that conversation? Yes, I did. Hey! Uh, I wonder if we're just getting better relationships now. Because <laughs> I know Drake and Gladys had a rivalry as well. Tell me where the Tuna Koalov camp is. Don't die. Curse you, knife jaw. Your timing has ruined my life forever. <laughs> Come on, sea bass. Let's get this over with. Get on the hook. Come on, there we go. When I pull you out, when I go, oh wow, sea bass. I wish it was something bigger. And then we all laugh. Ha ha ha. And then I cry inside. Olive oh, found a red snapper. Yeah! Perfect. Much better than sea bass. Where are you then? A moonfish or football fish. Where are you going a long way? Come play football in the winter league then? Okay, now I'm wondering if football is played during winter. I don't think so, but we had the World Cup, I think. I think a month ago or something but yeah i don't watch too much football well don't watch for what all really but my family members watch a lot of football so <laughs> they always have nice discussions about it and always like watching the games <laughs> another flounder thank you A seahorse. Good for a tiny bit of profit. Hello, Dab. You doing good? What are you two talking about? Drake, why are you looking at me like that? Did you snap or something? But you look gr so grown up, Quacko. On top of that, you smell like my grandpa. Hey, I know. Would you do me a favor and breathe on me, Quacko? 
What are you getting at, Bark you? Don't worry about it, man. Just set out a big sigh. It'll be awesome. All right, all right. I'll do it just to get you off my back. Uh... You do smell exactly like my grandpa, Quacko. Do it again, do it again, Quacko. You're weird, Drake. Did your grandpa eat liver and onions every day? Uh... Wow. That's pungent. That's grandpa aromas for sure. It's, it just gets me all choked up, Quacko. I guess you're a bit exhausted now from breathing all that. Thanks for cheering up, Drake, very much. <laughs> Mess that. Hello, Octopus. Any news on Crawler Camp for what, Tutor? Tuna? No. Okay. Well, let's go sell stuff quickly. Do one more search around, but sell. <laughs> Yep, see you, Bass, but needed to check. <laughs> Hi, Dab, you're a pretty hard to catch, but oh well. Get out of my beach, sea bass. Get out. Get in my pocket and stay there forever. Sorry, I'm taking your wife as well. You can live together as a soul married couple. Ah, football fish! Football! What killed the football? The Ice Age! What killed the Ice Age? The dinosaurs! Sea bass. Oh, sea bass. Why are you here again? Hey, Red Snapper, all the flounder. Nope, it's a tire. Man, I think Gracie crashed into the sea while she was driving back home. That's just a shame. And Octopus, what's the update on the Koala Camp and Tuna? <laughs> A dab. This is DBA. Tell me. Tell me everything. Got a nice seahorse. Are you related to the Tuna? I think that might be it. I think. Uh, it's always a doubting system because it's just like I could be the big fish that we need to fortune or koala camp or it could be annoying sea bass sea bass is uh can you leave us alone I can't tell if it's big or small well small for sea bass size anyway Hello, Dab. Hey, a red snapper. Snappity snap. Let's get this over with, sea bass. Catch on to it. Thank you. I caught you. You go in my pocket. Go hurrah. And then we're done. We're going to play the bass in the sea, play the bass in the sea. Hi Octopus, got anything for Tuna Koala Camp? Nope, you can go then. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Alright, going to sell some stuff and continue fishing. I think that might be it. It'd be nice if you looked at my fishing hook. Hmm, big fish? I'm ripping you a big fish and I'll see you, bass. Come on. And I have a nice chat there. But... Uh, Drake must have got asked to do the odor thing again for grandpa's scent. No! Well, let's take the sea bass cool. Sea bass. Of... I can't remember the word. I'm blanking on it because I'm just so frustrated. 
Constellation Prize. Hey, you failed to catch it, but you got second place. Hooray! Suffering. Like you, Belt. But. <laughs> What do you want, Jay? Not in good mood like you. Stop violence, me monkey. Listen, I want you to know if you have issues, wrap at me anytime, eh? After all, we're food pals. Yep, well, I'll try to think of a rap or something then. Ah, messed that up too. Why is fishing so hard, huh, bitch? Huh? I've been meaning to ask you something. If you could be anything in the world, would you be a pirate ninja or zombie Sasquatch? That's the same answer with some of these Sasquatch. Hmm, so that's where you stand, the great question of our time, Bark you. Hey! Hold up, Bark you. I can't just walk off after hearing something like that. Here you go, have a stone wall. Yeah, well, hopefully I'll use it to trap the koala camp. What? It's a gift, moron. Indeed. We'll use it to trap the fish. Genius. Jay, can you stop ru r running into me, please? Please? Please. Anyway, clap at the stab I caught. Second dab. I know what you two talking about. Hey, Jay, I know you're like a good competition, but life isn't that simple, you know? What? Aim? Hey? It's not? It doesn't matter if you win or lose in the big scary jungle of the real world. Winners or losers, enemies and allies, we don't live in a comic book. This is a real deal, Bark you. You hear me? The real deal! Winners, losers, big scary jungles? You sure are busting out some strange philosophy today, Butch. Right. Well then, next time you and me spar, go easy on me. I'd like to last 30 seconds against you for a change, Bark you. It's not fair, you get you to win all the time. Yeah, I know my back smooshing suplex can be a little intimidating. Oh, Butch, next time we wrestle, you can wear my lucky unitard. <laughs> You're going down this time, Jay. Man, they're gonna have a nice competition then. They've become fossil buddies and wrestling buddies. <laughs> I've never heard of animals fighting, but that just sounds funny. Hey, future people! Draw them having fun in a metal bang or wrestling. I don't know when that would ever get done, but... Yeah, on it. <laughs> For fun. Hey, look, we've got a boot. We've got the first part of the football. <laughs> I guess it would be... Bootfall. I now want to see that made as a sport. <laughs> Duh, that was the knife jaw, wasn't it? Why do I have to be so out bad at catching hard fish in this game? Uh, and talking because I'm just slowly pronouncing words apparently. I see horse. Thanks for a tiny bit of profit. Once I liked you, but now I only want you gone. Ah. So I had a plopping sound. Yeah, I thought someone applied, thought you would apply flowers or something. Hello there, bee monkey. What you could use is a pop quiz. Honestly, that'd be a nice break. If you answer correctly, I'll give you a prize. Here comes the question. If I were to get a scoop of ice cream right now, what size would I want it? Go, bud. So you want a small scoop. No, nope, that's close, but close is the long run from weight stretch. It was a bit of a trick question though, see, I'm not too hungry just yet, but once I start eating, I might want to have more than I felt like having. So I suppose it could have gone either way. Uh, trick questions. That did not help my mood, Gladys. <laughs> hey, all the flounder, you doing good? Thank you very much. <laughs> Knife jaw! Hello, uh, Dab. <laughs> Can the knife jaw stop being so hard to catch? I guess it's gonna apply to the big fish. 
feel like I'm pressing it, it sounds so instantly. But it's either because of audio delay, because of the recording, because it's going through the audio wire, or something else where I'm just not getting the fishing stuff. It's always hard to know. There we go. Octopus, have you found the Judo Koala camp, please? I don't want to do hours and hours of fishing. I enjoy it when it's not recording, but when it's recording, I have to worry about editing it all down. Yeah, come on, sea bass. Get in there. Nope, you're just going to ignore it. Well, maybe a fall red snapper or the flounder, but... Uh, come on. Get on the hook. Get on it. Come on. Why am I even failing that? Okay. Any news, please? What are you talking about? When I was little, my parents would always read me to me before I went to bed. That sounds pretty cool. I'm jealous. Things were different when I was little. My dad would leave out my cl closet wearing a hockey mask when I went to bed. I was always chuck a brick into my closet before I go to sleep, bark you. Oh, dude, that's not right. You poor thing. No wonder you're so messed up. No, no, I was just joking. I Wait, what do you mean messed up? Oh, I... Nothing, nothing at all. Never mind. Pretend I didn't say anything. Ha ha ha, got you again. Oh man, you should have seen the look on your face. Ah, uh, stop it. Can't we have a normal conversation for once? Why do you have to keep playing pranks on me like that, Butch? You know, it upsets me it's like all the test subjects. My dad taught me all the best practical jokes. He's the best. So maybe we got something coming after all, huh, Bark you? Well, she doesn't seem too angry about it. Hey, Octopus. Any updates? Bit anyone? I see, Bass. We're having a conversation about now. <laughs> Hey, Gladys. I just saving up for a big fancy wedding. What? No way. Why do you hear that, Bark you? I'm only into testing for well, science. Who said that, Bee Monkey? Are you spreading rumors? Wasn't me. Sorry, you're totally right. You wouldn't blab, would you, Bee Monkey? Only to actual arch enemies. Phew, I was a little embarrassed there, Bark you. So it's true, Gladys. You just proved that you are scheming something. Eek. Whoa. You look quiet, but you're cooking all kinds of plans, huh? She might be shy, but she's quite the schemer. I can agree with that. The scariest thing in Valdir really is Gladys. More than Bill? I guess it depends on specs and hardware. Arrest her, Bark you! Why, what did I do that was so bad, Bark you? You set up robot tuners, you set up neurotoxin, got people ill. All kinds of terrible crimes. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Even if I do find you cute, you do technically do commit tons of crimes in canon. Not actual villager though, but in video canon. Hiya, Dab. You doing good? And with that, I think we've hit the sixth bell. Oh, it hasn't signed down yet. Must have been C, but we are nearing that time. Oh, how are you doing, Drake? Hey, Bee Monkey, did you know that every superhero needs a catchphrase? Yes, yeah, in fact, they need something to say when they swoop into the room. You see where I'm going with this? I'm, see, I'm a superhero myself, so I need a catchphrase too. To defeat all balls, and it's got to scale of dastardly fellas. That's why it is. Ha ha ha. Do you always think I see a rogue to you, Quacko? I love how he's gone back to his original Quacko, actually. <laughs> You're gonna ring the bell anytime soon? Anytime? 
Yes, guys, there's a bitch having another conversation. And I got given something. There we go, there's a bell with a sea bass. Yep. And I'm full. Yeah. At this point, I think I'm just going to keep fishing until I get cooled down for dinner, and then I'm just going to do another recording session. I'm not going to split up two episodes, though, but I don't know. It's always hard to gauge because this is just a start channel, but I wonder how people will feel about fishing episodes once I've done so many. I mean, so far we've had the pop-eyed fish, we had the... Uh, Fishing tourney, which was meant to be the end of the fishing arc. Because, yeah, we also had tons of fishing requests from Freckles. And then there was the tuna hunt, which failed. And now we got this big fishing episode. Alongside all the requests Bill has. And it's even getting darker now. But, yeah, I hope, I hope this doesn't take overly long, because... I don't want to record for multiple hours, but this is the only time I might be able to catch a Coelho camp. It's worrying. I see you horse, you're doing good. Oh yeah, I already had a full inventory. <laughs> oh, let's swap that for one of the sea basses. Adios. Alright, let's get those sold off. How are you doing, all the flounder? Good to see you. Now yeah, what's up, Jame? Stop violence, my bad bee monkey. Listen, don't ever pause. Just take a look at this letter, hey? Tip of the day. Next time you find you're stuck, stuck talking to someone, yeah, leave me alone and take out your net. Helpful hint, guy. Maybe we should do that to Bill. I gotta be honest, I have no clue what it says. But still, what about here? I can just tell the pipe. Right, I was super pumped. Get fired up. Yeah, feel the adrenaline rush flowing, eh? I probably don't want to be too angry for fishing. Thank you very much, Jay, but that'll be a good tactic to get Bill off my back. <laughs> that I will never use. <laughs> Hello, boot. Uh, trying to get the timing to get that off quick, but Thankfully, that's only testing on the sea bass. Hi, sea bass. Oh, that was slow just because it came so fast. Hi, Dab. Sea bass. Hello, sea bass. What were you? A boot? Duh. Why is it? That's all I ever went through for that. Thank you, sarcastically. Duh. Uh, again, knife drills are just ruined fishing for me. Or difficult fish. It just feels like I should have the timing down, but I'm probably just so used to New Horizons catch rate. <laughs> I don't know wh how what's the difference or the buttons change. I see a bass. Don't think that was quick enough for an actual big fish. Why are you octopus? Honestly, at this point, I don't even know what I would want to make jokes about. Duh. Knife jaw. I see you, bass. That was not fast enough. And another boot. You kick me while I'm down, huh? Duh. At least it wasn't a fake fish, I don't think. But still frustrating. I keep messing this up. I fish. Definitely not quick enough for a knife jaw. I might be quick. But hey, Red Snapper! Yay, profit! Hi, Riverfish. Gabby Cat. 
you brighten my mood a bit, even if it's a worthless fish. <laughs> Hi, Dab. Dab is bad. Hi, Black Bass. And I'm full. I'll see what the sea bass is. I wonder if it's a sea bass. Are you a sea bass? No, you're just gonna ignore my fishing line. Like a bad fish. Yep, sea bass. Adios. I think I might take a short break here, I think. Have some dinner, maybe. And then just relax a little bit. Hey, what do you want to talk about, Butch? Diggy dog dog, bee monkey. How long are we going to live like this and pretend we're not best buds? We should have some kind of super secret greeting, Bark you. You already have that. Diggy dog dog. Uh, Bark you. That's the freakiest thing I've ever heard. But you've wanted me to say that every day to everyone I meet, then I'll do it. Don't figure, whoa, I'm crazy like that, Bark you. You are crazy, aren't you, Butch? Crazy fossil maniac who will do evil schemes. I don't know, just schemes in general. I don't know what neutrality you are, but probably just neut chaotic neutral. <laughs> You do anything just for yourself. <laughs> what are you? A moon fish, football fish. I was just confused because it just looked like, yeah, the lights that has the t light on top. That means it's a moon fish because it glows. But no. Doing good, Gladys. Hey, bee monkey, I want to show you this letter I got if you got a sec, Bark you. Hey, Gladys, you might say this letter is boring, but did you ever think you're the boring one? Huh? An interesting person. I thought it was a bit strange, to be totally honest. Like, Gladys is a brand recognized name. But that doesn't mean I totally didn't totally dig it, though. Like I dug that person who sent that letter by tracking their emails. I just kind of want to see someone else go get it too, and see the person suffer, bee monkey. Yeah, you're terrifying sometimes. And what's up, Drake? Just finished telling fish off. Bee monkey, you don't like your emotions so much, do you? You're gonna say stuff like, I'm the person who moves through my body, aren't ya? My step has this spring. When I practice skip skipping, it means I'm in a gift-giving mood. Thank you. I trust you'll treat my men's toilet the way you would me. I would hope to treat them definitely, because I would sell them. <laughs> oh, Pinky's trying to leave, aren't you? Uh, good evening, I'm being full of sugar, spice, and everything nice, but you know something, I need a spice reveal, hey? Alright, you want to tell me something? Yeah, we all, I don't want you to leave, thank you. Who's we'll saying we're gonna have someone, someone to cook you snacks? Yeah, you never cook, sadly. But anyway, thank you so much for having. I had a lot of fun, really. You can't leave. But do you wish, when you put it that way, oh, what should I do? Hey, should I change my mind? I'm just going to assume that's need to respond, so if not, I'll talk to her later. <laughs> oh no, Yuka's gotten sick again! Oh no... What happened? The Gladys Vicuel with Tolnuk's intervention. I'll get the medicine. Hey Tolnuk, I didn't get a good chance to ask you, but you have been the one making everyone ill. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. Take your time. And I don't know what you mean. I've heard from Gladys. You've been making everyone sick just to drive up your medicine profit. Why, well, yes, that would be some medicine. It sells for 400 bells. Quite a bargain, yes? Would you like to buy it? I feel like you're ignoring the question. What question? I don't know what you're asking me, but yes, that's precisely 400 bells. Excellent counting. Uh, politician spoke of just ignoring the question and moving on. Just stop doing this. You already get enough business from me from buying all your furniture. Just stop it. Or else. But I need more money to upgrade the shop. You technically need just one random person to buy stuff from your shop. So stop making people ill. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Thanks much. Please do a come again. We'll be waiting. Hmm. Yeah, screw you, Dominic. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Doll Dominic off you even if he's not going to admit it. How are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe I'm making these sounds. So very sick. If I pass out here, please make sure I have some lipstick on. Need some medicine? Well, consider it of you. Oh, I can't believe you got sick twice. Feels wrong. Okay. Okay, I think the worst is over now. Thanks, Quacker Star. Thanks to the medicine, I feel loads better. I have one person to thank for this, and that's BFB. Please take care. Make sure you get tons of sleep, okay? Hey, you're a good kid, Quacker Star. Thanks. Hey, Freckles. Been doing fishing today. Best friend, you're still full of energy, aren't you, Ducky? Not really. It's chilly at night, so I'm not as into going outside as you used to, but when I was younger... Hey, oh my gosh, how old How old am I anyway? Oh, so do you want something from me or what? Tell me anything. I'm bored. Talk to you is boring. Stop boring me. Wait, be lucky. I know. Let me come visit you at your place. That'll be fun. Here you are. Sure. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let us pick a good time, Ducky. You have to clean your place before I come over. Okay. Well, we're adding more time to it, so let's see. Bill set it for 9 p.m. And we'll do it at 9.30. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be our break time if we still keep fishing for hours. 9.30 on the 29th. Mentally noted. I'll be on the time, so don't forget it. Will do. Got anything else to talk about? Hey, look, it's 1832, my favorite time. Yay, numbers! Yeah. I know, 21 of 39th. Don't forget, if you forget, I'll be so sad. And angry. Okay. Well, you do good, Freckles. And what's up, Jay? Look at you, Bee Monkey. Have you been working out, eh? If you have, then I've got nothing to say to you, eh? Okay, but I'll give you this, eh? Better be worth it fulfilling up my inventory. Do push ups with my backyard fence. Not work, but only back end. Shoot, I can't tell you anymore, eh? Yeah, I don't want to do push ups with a backyard fence on me. Thank you very much. Why, uh. An octopus! Come over here, see you, bass, so we can get rid of you. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Never fish out the pond of spawns. Yeah. I was predicting it was going to hit the fourth and I missed it. Yeah. That was the big fish, wasn't it? That I didn't even notice it, and I was trying, but when I saw it, big shadow when it was on the line of. No, I think it wasn't, it wasn't even going back and forth. It was just like, oh, look, it looks straight down, and you can't tell. Uh, you no, know, I was hoping this would be a day where I could catch multiple Corallo counts, because for, you know. It won't be easy to catch them, but I'm sure they'll spawn more easily because it's a one-time rare condition that you'll never normally get. But nope. It's just really hard for them to even spawn. And it's frustrating me even more because that just gives me less chance to get them. Just spawn more regularly. Darn. What are you do Oh, I missed it. I'm so angry my muscles are gonna pop up my dang body, hey. Well, you depress Gladys, which is kind of rare. Especially in character. Hi, Dab. I see yours. At least it's a thousand, approximately a thousand bells. 
are you two talking about? Hey, Jay, if you could be any cake in the world, what would you be? Never thought of reference. Oh man, it's an office. What kind of cake would I be? Sheesh. Beefcake. Get it? Because I totally muscled out to the max, eh? If it's not an ounce of buttercream on this bar, let me tell you. You. Why did you have to make me a picture of that? That's disgusting. What's disgusting about being totally buff? I'm just saying it's all. I didn't do all of those power squat thrusts just so I can say I'd be a cheesecake. I was. It was just a stupid personality test question I read in Mr. Miss Nintendis Q. Don't get all aggro on me. We all know you can bench press the town hall. A what? What were you thinking? Give me a personality test. I just wanted to be you know you a little better, Jay. That's all. So I can know, know what to do for tests. Here I was, trying to be nice, and you come off like a total meathead. Oh, I was just kidding around. I'm not really a meathead, am I? Well, now that she's angry. Alright, I think with that I have to go for dinner, so... I'll see you in a bit for when we get more fish. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is nice, but... Yep, just had a nice dinner. I had some nice potato mash and peas with some nice gravy. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to eat potato mash without gravy because I like potato foods like chips and roast potatoes. I'm just not a big fan of potato mash without gravy. Otherwise, it just takes a long while. So I also don't like jacket potatoes either. I think it's just like well, I enjoy some stuff like plainness. I didn't really like it dry, I think. It's also probably why I don't like pastries like sausage rolls and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, honestly, depending on how long this goes, I may turn this into a huge recording speed up. So if I start speeding up now, you'll know why. So if it speeds up, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>
Oh my goodness, we got it! Oh my goodness! Whoa, 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 I call a living fossil amazing! What were you doing down there? Uh, uh, Theo was just thinking, oh, that's a sea bass. I got, you know, I'll practice the new technique I was practicing. I'll, I was trying to do, I would you press A to put the fishing hook in, and then when the fish catches it, I would use the touch screen because I thought, yeah, that would be better for catching the fish faster because the A button is just like a more hard to press, and I always just get to confidence. So I thought the the touch screen's better. I had a bit more failures because I would jump more easily, but we finally did it. Screw the tuna. I don't care. Hey, Blavers. Hey, Blavers. Ah, who, who, indeed, who do you? It's always have a tree I have a visit here. Welcome to Valdium Museum. Do enjoy yourself. So, by the mind, might there be something which you can assist you? Donation. We are done with November fish. Who, indeed, who, who, a cool camp. It was thought, once thought that the coral camp had gone extinct, eh? Hey? Indeed, right until a scholar saw them lined up in the market, hoo hoo. How clear they suggest that they're edible, don't you agree? But well, I must admit, they don't look like they would taste so good. Ooh, you have a deepest profound gratitude. I bet you do. So, is there anything else that you might like to show me, perhaps? Nope, that is all. That's all November fish. We appreciate your support immensely, hoo hoo. Thank you. Now, get a break time. How you doing, Blavers? You doing good? I'm in a good mood now. I was going to be annoyed mood, but yeah! Get for a cup of two Java to pick you up. It's 200 bells. What blend would you like? The usual. Whatever you say. When one, cups up one hot cup of your favorite blend, BFB. You remembered my name! Uh, you know, I was so angry during that whole speed through. I would just be snarling. I actually get a bit snarling when I get a bit angry. But yeah, there we go. At the perfect temperature to bring out the flavor. 176 degrees. One freshly brewed cup. Drink cup. Thanks, I will. Ah, as the rich earthy scent that warms my entire body, I am now growled on. Sending those fish to the depths of hell through burning them alive. <laughs> uh, I'm in a good mood, bro. Thank you for a much drink. Back in the day, I used to have myself a little cafe in the city. Our those were black days and bitter. I was bitter. My coffee was better. I guess I shouldn't be surprised I couldn't pull the customers. It was the coffee, you see. They wanted a bitter cup of java. Aw. I love you, bro. I'll see you around. Oh, Freckles wants to talk to me. Hey, twain, how you doing, Bee Monkey? I just had to stop the recording. Remember the picture of me and Bale back? Can you keep one do still like have it? Just stored it nice and safe. Bee Monkey, you're like official president of the Freckles Fan Club. But you should totally start that, then I could actually join it. Yay me! Yeah, I finally did it, Freckles. I caught a koala count. Sadly, you couldn't catch a tuna yet, but... One day, even though I already have it on museum, it's just catching it again just for the dumb fishing quests. Alright, we got a few. Right now it's. If a time will pop up, 8.45, so I've got 45 more minutes, so I'm just gonna do random things, I think. Oh! Why is it a bunch of. Is it because it's pinky stuff, I think, isn't it? I'll be checking a bit. But. Yeah. That's not just a lot of stuff people donated. And what might we have in Lost and Found? Anything new or are we just wasting time? Lost and Found. And we could probably have some items in Lost and Found. I mean, we definitely have nine. I think. Think worthwhile? No. Oh, good for the checkup. Be more careful. 
here. How are you doing, Gladys? E, I'm freezing. So, uh, what can I do, Barq? You, I'm sh I'm ashamed that you copied that language. Hey, do you think a chain gun shirt would look good on me? Was that a bad idea? Man, I wish I could try it on and check it out for myself. You monkey, if you find a chain gang shirt, please tell me. I don't know what that would look like, but I'll have a quick check. Hey, the only chain gang shirt shirts. Hopefully, it doesn't say. Uh, never mind. Anyway, red warm up. A orange jumpsuit, and I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'll say I might buy this. This looks nice. But. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the quick shop. <laughs> How are you doing, Tom? I need to check something on the catalog, please. Yes, what could I do for you? Catalog. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now well, let's see what shirts we got. Here we are. Okay, we can order that one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Chain gang shirt. The price for that weekly is 260 bells. Yes, please. Yeah, I can't wait. Never have you all. I'm going to be a bit of wait on turnips, I think. I want to see if we can get it for 200. I'm going to be greedy. If it doesn't fail, then that's just my fault. But, yeah. I'll just go for the risk of 200. Thanks much. Please, do come again. We'll be waiting. Hmm. Alright, let's see what items we did get. The Celia Block Bonsai. That looks actually really nice. Next up, we have the Blue Bench. I think this looks like, looks like something Drake might have. I'm not sure. Next up, Biwi Loot. I don't remember anyone owning us. Oh, I need to check back. This feels like a bunch of random stuff, honestly. Because I'll take wardrobe. That looks like it's cool. And finally, violin. Anyone who I knew would have this would be either Yuka, maybe, or. Oh, okay. Either one of us would have it. But, uh, okay. I'm gonna take a quick break, I think. Because we've still got a bit to wait, and I didn't want to lose the Koala Camp progress, so I'm just gonna go quick save. And I'll be back inside for when time for Freckles' visit. Alright, Freckles is about to come in any minute now. But, yeah. I had a nice break listening to some music. I think I listened to the new Pokemon song, Berry Berry? I don't, forgot the name when I was looking at the title. I also listening to stuff like Xenoblade, some Gamma Metal. It's always nice songs. But, yeah. Wee. Wee. Honestly, I think the idea of what I want to do with this house. Because I just have this nice cozy theme here. So I want to turn it to a, like a hotel resort. Like, I think I have a room separate for games. Then I'll have a hotel room. And I'll have my boss room over here. <laughs> and then... I have a lab upstairs. It depends on how much I can progress that. Well, I'll just decide. But yeah, I think that's the big plan for the house, if you're wondering. I think that'd be just nice to have like a hotel room, hotel area here. <laughs> that'd be just nice for you to go with. I still need to come up with a name of you too. Are you here, Bee Monkey? It's me, Freckles, your bestest friend ever. Oh, the gag still works so well. <laughs> oh wow, it's just like I drank it with Ducky. Okay, now I gotta snoop around. Yeah, nice wander. 
Welcome to... I'll probably be a hotel. Ooh, fire's my favorite scent. Or totally yum, it's just lavender, right? It must be lavender, ducky. Or gravy, one of the two. Don't think you're interested in? I don't know how... Well, it's been a while since I had... Last one was Bill, I think. I think all the ducks have visited, if I'm remembering correctly. Bee Monkey, how could you? You want to have all you can eat yogurt parfait without me? I rarely eat yogurt. The only yogurt I've eaten is corners. But I did use like fruits. Huh? Me? Hmm? No? How about unlimited sparkling cider? Don't drink alcohol. Do you really think about my, your skin like I do, Ducky? I was just apple juice, but no thank you. <laughs> Hey, Mikey, your room looks like a fallout shutter or a cave or something. No, it looks like a hotel room. You have like none of the necessary items for daily modern daily life. On my screen, five star rating, I would give you this place three stars. You have fish and a boxing mat for a bed and a froggy chair. <laughs> That's all you have. I don't know how you rank your own home, but sure. Hey, Monkey, yeah, we already heard this. Anyway, Birch and Jay have the kind of friendship that only guys have. Indeed. You know the kind where you settle arguments with your fists? Yeah, they've been fighting a bit. Yay, that was totally fun, but I'm gonna leave now, Ducky. Doodaloo, Bee Monkey. I'll see you around, Freckles. Still, with that, I think that's gonna be the end of the episode. Ooh. Still, we at least got one big thing done. Record Koala Camp. And then it's December, not December, November fish are done. And the only thing left, which I don't think I'll be able to do, <coughs> pardon me, is we need to capture a right dragon play, which I doubt I will be able to do. Still, we'll do it next year round. This LP is not going to last a year though, but I do have plans to keep the series going, even if it's not daily uploads every all around a year. But yeah, we. Yeah, next time. Let's do something nicer, I would say. Let's go decorate a flag, because that's something we haven't done. See you guys then.